Well, hello everyone and welcome to uh, the next module in the lesson on algebra. Today we're going to look more at a grade 8 lesson. We're going to learn how to model and solve algebraic expressions using algebra tiles. Okay, it's a concrete material that's really important for use uh, in the grade 7 and 8 gr groups. Um, so what is an algebra tile? Well, algebra tiles are similar to the base 10 blocks. Base 10 blocks are 3D, algebra tiles are flat. They don't represent the groups of 10 that base 10 blocks do. They actually represent either ones or unknown numbers. So when you get a set, your sets will look yellow on one side and red on the other side, just like integer chips. You'll have rods, flat rods, uh, like this, that represent n or an unknown number. The blue or yellow is going to be positive. Your reds in both sets are going to be negatives. The little squares are units, so again, a positive one or a negative one, okay? So just like you would when you, form the, when you solve with a formula, you want to start by modeling the expression within algebra tiles. This expression, 2n plus 4 equals 8, if you read this on paper, it might say 4 more than 2 times a number equals 8, okay? So let's draw that out first. So the first thing we want to do is start with our algebra tile rods, and then we want to start with our four units, our four ones. Okay, so that's the one side of the equation. Over here I'm going to draw the other side of the equation, which is going to be our eight. Okay, so there you go. 2n plus 4 equals 8. We're balanced. They mean the same thing. Just like you would over here with the uh, formula, you want to try and isolate so that all you have left is 1n. And we're going to use inverse operations and matching, keeping those sides balanced to do it. All right. The first thing we would look at is what are we, how are we going to whittle this down so that we have nothing but n left. The easiest thing to start getting rid of is going to be the 4. So let's start with the 4. In the formula, the way we would do that is we would go 2 n plus 4. Because it's a positive 4 in the formula, we would take 4 away, and because we did it to one side, we would do it to the other, right? Well, you do the same thing over here by bringing in negatives to create zero pairs. So we'll get out the red marker now. Because we have four ones on this side, we want to bring in four negatives. Okay? To match, this now says zero. For each blue and red pair, it's a zero. It's a zero pair. Because we brought in four negatives on this side, you bet we have to bring in four negatives on the other side of the equation. What we've effectively done now is we have taken these four away and we've taken these four away. So that what you're left with on the model here is 2n equaling 4, and that's what's here, 2n and 4, okay? So the next step now is to go, all right, well now we have this 2n and we have 4. I want to figure out what 1n is. Well, when we look at our, our algebraic expression, what we learned earlier is 2n really means 2 times the unknown number that we're trying to find. So if it's multiplication, then we have to do the inverse, the opposite, which means we have to divide. So let's do that now. 2 divided by 2, n, equals 4 divided by 2. Just a refresher here, we do have to follow bed mass. That's why we do bed mass. But because the division comes before the multiplication, it ends up working out. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. It's 1n. All we have to do is write n. So let's write that. n equals, and what's 4 divided by 2? It's 2. So let's see if that works on this side. Again, we have to divide. Dividing with algebra tiles is exactly the same as adding and subtracting. We're just going to try and get, um, we're going to split these guys up. We don't actually need our negative number. We just have to say, okay, we're going to make groups of, like you would with counters. So you have four pieces and you have two places for them to go. So it's actually pretty much done for us, right? For each n, you have a group of two, which means that one n is a group of two. All right, that's the same thing you would do when you represent a division, okay? So hopefully this cleared up a little bit about how you would go about um, solving 
algebra tiles and using the formula uh, in, in trying to solve to find an unknown variable. If you have any questions, please make sure to post them. <laughs>